Air. What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, the Michael Jordan the Game, and also the Rebel YouTube Underground. I'm back with yet another commentary. And I'm not going to put any music in the background because I want y'all to hear me. This is going to be a serious commentary. I want y'all to listen to everything I'm saying. I don't want y'all to pay attention to the beat that's in the background, none of that nonsense. I want you to hear me and pay attention to everything I'm saying. Um, I'm having a problem with, with the guys. I wanted to say get the dupe, but, you know, like I said, I want to be serious. <laughs> but I'm having a problem with the guys, man, who who settle for less. People like that make me upset, man, because I've never been one that likes to settle for less. And I can understand sometimes it feels like you're just trapped in whatever you're doing and there's no way out of it and you just try to deal with it. But there's always something better. And it just makes me upset that you have people that are trying to convince people otherwise that there's nothing they can do to get out of whatever situation they're in or or there's nothing better out there for that person. And it makes me mad. And if you're wondering why I'm talking about this, I'm talking about this because it does tie into gaming and it ties into, you know, what I've been posting on YouTube, me and the whole Illuminati and even some of our people that we bang with, like Ethos. <laughs> like, we've been posting videos about PC gaming. We've been... Doing a podcast talking about PC gaming and people get upset about it. They get really butthurt about us talking about PC gaming. And it makes no sense. You you could just mention PC and they go, oh my gosh, here they go. PC elitist and all that stuff, man. And it makes no sense, yo. And they get mad when we talk about the graphics being better on a PC and things like that. But then they, they turn around and say... We're lucky we get a game when we talk about a game isn't optimized properly on the PC and when we get upset. It's crazy. So, this is why I'm talking about this, man. Not, not only does it have to do with, you know, gaming, but, you know, life in general. For instance, man, I, like I said, I, I don't like to settle for less. If I still settle for less, I would still be working at Target or Ruby Tuesday right now. Sitting there at Target making $6.25 an hour, which is nothing. That was nothing when I worked there. I was struggling on bills. I didn't even have a cell phone for a whole year because I couldn't afford to turn it on. You see what I'm saying? So I had to get out of there, man. And and I got tired of just sitting there. My brother and people kept telling me, man, you need to stop selling for less. Go find a better job that pays more. And I felt comfortable because I was like, well, look, I have a job. You know, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm going to get fired. You know, I'm comfortable where I am. And that's what a lot of these these console fans are doing bro like they're comfortable with the console because that's pretty much all they know that's what they're used to so that's how i felt at target i was like i don't need another job i'm i'm good i'm i'm getting money um and i'm fine but i wasn't getting enough money i wasn't getting the money that i felt that i deserved i was getting 625 struggling 626 whatever it was i forgot it was something low and i was struggling then that's when my my buddy he quit and he told me about you know, the job I'm at now. He said I should apply for it. And I, one day I just decided, I was like, okay, look, I'm struggling too bad. They cut my hours. I'm not making really any money. My last check was $130-something. I was tired of it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to take that step up. And I, I applied, and I got the job. And now I'm making a cumulative, uh, when it's accumulated up to, I'm making $12.50. I don't know how he took my dog tags when I was turning around facing him, but whatever. But now I'm making like $12.50-something sense or whatever if you add it up kind of um and i'm not even in the highest paid department in my store i mean my manager in the highest paid department well he's not my manager now he stepped down from management because he was making more on the floor than he was a manager he was bringing home he said about three stacks a paycheck bro so i made that step up man and that's the only thing, that's the reason we talk about PC gaming all the time to, to the console-only players. Because we want you guys to experience better gameplay. We want you to experience faster frames per second. We want you to experience better graphics. And yeah, you got to put some money into it. If you don't have the money, we can understand. But don't sit there and talk trash about us, saying we're all we're all PC elitists and all we care about is graphics. I mean, everybody care about graphics. And that's another thing I want to talk about. That whole argument about, you know, people don't... I mean, graphics don't always matter. Some people saying they don't even care about graphics. Like, that is the most ignorant argument I heard in my life. If you bought any console, you cared about graphics, especially if you bought one after another console that was stronger. 
I don't care if you you go back and you play those indie games that have like the the Super Nintendo graphics. I've watched videos of people giving reviews on it, like Transistor. The, the game looks like a Super Nintendo game, but you know what the guy said? He said it has beautiful graphics. He loves the art style. He still said beautiful and graphics in the same sentence. And then when the people who make this stupid argument, this is the best one. People back in the day didn't care about graphics. Um, yes, we did. Review Tech showed a video about, you know, old consoles. In fact, I'm going to show some commercials myself. I'm going to show a commercial from, uh, from uh, I think, Atari, and I'm going to show a commercial for, um, for the Sega Master System. Notice how they were talking about bits and all sorts of other graphical terms. They even mentioned graphics and things like that. See, that's what we look for. We look for better graphics, man. That's how we are as human beings. Like We are attracted to things that are attractive. When you're looking for your mate, you're looking for a female or a man that is attractive to you. You're looking for, If you're looking for a car, you're not going to buy a broke down car or a destroyed looking car. You're going to buy a car that looks attractive. And if you do buy a car that's busted down, that's because you're one of the people that enjoy fixing up cars to make them attractive. And it's kind of like that with PC gaming. You don't have to buy a super expensive $1,000 PC like I did and Mono One Negro did and JG. You can spend about $500 on a PC and later upgrade it so the graphics can go from okay graphics to extremely good looking graphics. It's the same concept. So that's all I'm saying, man. That's all we're saying. Is don't settle for less, man. If I was settling for less, I would still be at Target struggling. And I go to my job. I, I go to my old job, Target, every once in a while, and I try to tell people to come apply for my job, and they didn't. They would all say, "Nah, man, I feel comfortable. I, I don't. I don't need the job." And then every time I go on there now, they're still talking about that they're struggling to make ends meet because they're still at Target. See what I'm saying, man? Don't listen to those people that tell you to settle for less. You don't have to settle for less. You can. There's always something better out there. And those people that tell you to settle for less, man, they're the same people. If we were still back in the revolutionary periods, man, they'd be the same people saying, I don't care if England still owns the United States. Um, we still will have food and stuff like that, but it's okay. Or they'd be the same people if they were slaves and you guys were both slaves. They'd say, I don't care about master uh, being our master. I mean, he feeds us and we still got a roof on our head. They wouldn't try to fight you know, slavery and get it abolished. They're the same people that in the 60s, we're like, oh, man, I don't care if I got to pee in the dirty bathroom or ride the back of the bus and the white man gets to eat in the, the better looking restaurant and be, the, use the cleaner utensils. They'd be the, the main one saying, nah, man, it's OK. At least I'm still alive. They wouldn't have fought for nothing, man. So that's all I got to say, man. This is your boy, Tick, a.k.a. Game Fanatic, Michael Jordan the Game. And leave some comments down below on how you feel about my commentary. Are you upset with what I said? Because all I'm telling you is the truth. But it's your boy, Tick, and I'm going to be gone. Bye.